Hi everybody and welcome to Dynamic Damsel Duo. I'm Cami, and today I will be responding to April's video about Edgar Allan Poe. And honestly, it's this is gonna be really short because I have nothing really to argue about because it's Poe. <laughs> Though I will say that it's obvious that April is the teacher of the two of us because she explained the story point by point and then I just was like screw it they know they know the story <laughs> so prop props to April for actually telling you guys what the story is actually about but overall I can't disagree <laughs> and I think the reason why I put telltale over the black cat is simply because we've seen his characters put somebody in a wall. For me, Telltale was unique in that he hasn't, or he didn't, I should, he's not alive. He's not alive, <laughs> unfortunately. I think we all would be appalled if he was still alive today. He, he never reuses anything from Telltale. Except, you know, murder. But yeah, tell, Telltale is, to me, just unique in the way that it's portrayed and written compared to his other work. And I find that really, really cool. And so now that's why I chose Telltale. But I really agree that the black cat is absolutely fantastic. When I did read The Black Cat, I did get the sense that it was kind of about him and that he blamed himself for Virginia's death. Overall, I think it's just really sad that, that that's what he felt and thought. But I'm still gonna have to stick with Telltale because I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, this this was super short. It's Poe. You gotta love the Poe boy. You gotta love the Poe boy. So really this was this wasn't gonna be an argument at all. So <laughs> this was never gonna be an argument. And so yeah, go check out our original videos about these topics and like and subscribe and comment down below about your favorite Poe story. Um, whether you agree with me or April, whatever, whatever, yada, yada. And we'll see you next time. Bye.